Hello class. Today we will discuss about physical and chemical changes that is that will be the reason for you. So physical and chemical change. Okay. So basically we have still that a physical change is a temporary change in which no new substance is formed. This change can be reversed by reversing the conditions. Say for example melting of ice. So melting of ice is a physical change because it only changes its state from solid to liquid and once again we can convert into liquid to solid by cooling it so it is a reversible reaction we can say and a chemical change is a permanent change in which the original substance loses its own composition and properties and give rise to one or more new substances with different composition and properties so a chemical change is a permanent change in which the new substance is formed so for example burning of magnesium in presence of oxygen to form magnesium oxide is a chemical change because a new substance is formed which is completely different from the reactants next endothermic change endothermic change means a change which involves the absorption of heat energy and exothermic change means a chemical change that involves the liberation or release or evolution of heat energy next mass is neither created nor destroyed during chemical change as we have known from the previous chapter in matter and next in a chemical change of substances the molecules and atoms of the substances rearrange themselves to form new substances so whenever a chemical change takes place there is the rearrangement of molecules and atoms to form new substances so based on the today's topic about physical and chemical changes assignment for you assignment number nine number one give the main differences between physical changes and chemical changes you can mention at least three differences number two classify the following changes into physical and chemical changes changes so magnetization of iron what kind of changes this sublimation of iron rusting of iron burning of a candle okay so you need to classify what kind of changes are they question number three what is an exothermic change give an example and question number four the burning of a piece of magnesium even in air is a chemical change explain how it is so so complete this assignment and send it in my mail